I want to show you something. Here is the AC and here is the door. There's a one window behind this cupboard and there's a one window behind this curtain. Everything is perfectly sealed. But, see this, the dust. This is just after one week of cleaning. I have no idea where this dust come from. AC technician told me this AC when taking dust in the room, but it's a little hard to believe. So 90% time, I'm the only person who access in this room and everything is sealed. So if you guys know a solution for this, at least a workaround, just let me know. That was in the morning, look good, right? Okay, so in the evening, um, I was invited to give a talk to fresh graduates. Um, how they should prepare for an interview, how they should move from uh, university to corporate, and so on and so forth. So usually, I get this type of invites all the time, and I accept those based on my availability. So today, I accepted that, and it was an awesome discussion. But I'm not much fan to give this uh, remote session over video conferencing. Rather, I like to physically impress and uh, have a physical touch with people. But this is the new normal, right? Can't help. So anyway, after the session, 15 minutes later, I got a message to my Facebook page. And it was a little uh, long message, but I'm not going to tell his name because I don't have his consent to share this message. So, but I'm going to read the message for you. Here's what it says. Hi sir, that was an amazing session. That was the best session I ever participated. Thank you for that. I promised myself I'm not going to waste time anymore and I'm going to study well and I'm going to come into good corporate company and I'm going to success my career and I'm going to thankful for you for that. Anyway, uh, this message is like a little longer but I just uh, take one point because that's significant. I promised myself not to waste time anymore. I'm seeing this, people saying this, I promised myself, I promised myself to not to drink anymore. I promised myself to quit smoke, right? Also, I'm seeing people tell other people to motivate them, please promise yourself. Go home and promise yourself you don't do this anymore, right? But if you really think what the promise is, here's a fact, promise is one person giving a promise to some other person saying I'm going to commit for this one, right? So sometimes we promise someone or when we give promise to someone, sometimes we beg promise from someone else, right? We say, please promise this, right? So usually within a relationship, girlfriend and a boy, we, this always happened, right? When the girlfriend says, okay, I'm going to do this, just please promise me, right? So usually people do this. So that means to have a promise, you need two different person, two human being promise to each other. It's like a verbal agreement, isn't it? If you start a business, if you go somewhere, right, you write, so write a contract because that is a legal bound to keep you onto the contract. You can't change your word anymore, right? Promise is something like that. So that means you don't trust other party. This perfectly makes sense because it doesn't matter what your relationship is, you don't t t trust each other, right? However, what is the purpose of promising yourself? That means you don't trust yourself, 
is that what it mean right so here is the problem don't promise yourself because the when you promise something to yourself you're finding excuse to break it as well because it's agreement right so don't force to do something because someone is asking you to do for example if you want to quit smoke don't quit smoke because someone asking you to do but rather find the purpose of that why you want to quit smoking if you take this guy don't promise yourself to not to waste time but rather find a purpose why you don't want to waste time because let's say you promise to do something yourself because someone else right let's say you because of your girlfriend or because of your boyfriend you promise yourself i'm quitting smoking if that person is leave your life one day that promise is not valid anymore right because you you create the promise for yourself because of that person right so now you get excuse to break the promise and go back to your uh, old life again but if you find a purpose to do why you want to do that why you want to quit this why you want to adapt to this why you want to do this if you find a purpose then that's lifetime because it's a lifetime reason you to stick uh, stick to whatever you're going to do so don't promise yourself because you can trust yourself you don't have to beg a promise from you itself rather find a purpose and then stick to that purpose understand the purpose then go through that so that case you never going to break it talk to you soon again stay safe